Welcome to another pretty much quality of life that I have thought of for all four support skills. And that will include agility, dungeoneering, slayer, and thieving. So with that, let the video begin. And if you have any other ideas that could be good, make sure to put that down in the comments. And let's begin. We all know that the Brim Heavy course was supposed to get reworked back in, I believe, 2018 or 2019. In which case, instead of what you see now, how it only has one floor, it was supposed to have three floors, kind of like three-dimensional chest in a sense. And instead of getting one ticket, we would have gotten five possible arrows that we have to go to. And since there's three floors, there would be two ladders pretty much almost in the center area so that you would have to go up and down and since we have a minute in between each marker that it changes you actually have to find a good rotation and you have to favor if you want to go upstairs or downstairs and since there's five some floors would have two arrows so in which case let's say you're on the top floor it will have one arrow and then the middle and bottom floor will have both two arrows. You'll want to favor those. Although, I don't know if people will actually do this method. But again, it was supposed to be in-game a while ago. And the XP rates are supposed to be a little less than Anachronia. Because Anachronia during Dino Roar is 320k XP per hour. And that is without Silverhawk Boots. With Silver Rock Boots, that will increase it even further. So, I would like the rework for this to maybe be about 250k along with some buffs to the reward shop. Let's look at the reward shop. And I think the experience, they are good. And again, if the course does get reworked, we'll be able to get tickets so much quicker instead of one per minute. We'll be able to get maybe three or four tickets a minute and with Granger Gloves they have a chance to double those tickets so I think the lamps are pretty good for the numbers. The items, the pirate hook, I mean it used to be good. I did this back in the day for 27 mil GP per hour and it's fairly AFK at about maybe 30 to 40 seconds depending on the RNG of the next arrow. Although I would like a third option for let's say cosmetic token overrides and again since this is agility I would like to have movement tokens available like the assassin walk or that Naruto walk override and again since it's agility it just makes sense that it is it gives some sort of incentive for like a movement reset token or cosmetic of some sort and who in the world does this for the Brimhaven tickets? I mean, the XP of this is extremely bad as well. Next up will be the Dungeoneering skill. And I would love, let's say you get 120 Dungeoneering, you'll be able to bind a second potion, which this would help so much while you are doing runs with other people, or even soloing it on an iron for those Complexity 1 from floor 1 all the way to 29. And then maybe, and this is mostly for rangers, but what if there was a recipe or we can unlock an additional bound item slot for 200,000 dungeoning tokens. This way rangers could start using the silver bracelet, although there is a better tier which I have not been able to get. On to the next couple of ideas I have had for Dungeoneering. Now this one, I don't know if people actually have problems with this, who do not use target cycling, but killing pickaxes and books are a pain to click on, especially those pickaxes since they are the world's most tiniest NPC. And it's a pickaxe, it's not like a body you have to click on. Now this wouldn't be much of a rework, but we all know that the Bodwark Beast 
has an armor at the top of the screen, and if you're using magic, it actually bypasses it. But let's say you're using melee, you have to tear down the shield first before you damage him. And the same thing with range. So I don't know if this is intended or anything, or like a bug, but maybe other stylers would somehow bypass it, or even like melee would like to hit the shield and stuff before you actually start DPSing him. It would be so nice if we were able to skip the plant room as this takes a lot of time. For the Slayer skill, there's not really much to rework, although there is one thing, and that is if we go to the rewards, and we scroll down a bit how we had that Slayer helmet. Imagine if we had some Slayer gloves and Slayer boots. Now, I don't actually mean these Slayer gloves, because these don't really do anything. What if the boots and the gloves had a set effect, or maybe even combine it with the Slayer helmet, so you only need two out of the three pieces. And for this, probably, let's say it gives like plus 2% Slayer experience, which does stack with collecting the Slayer Codex and adding the souls into, or don't do the boots whatsoever, do the gloves. Now these gloves could have a special ability which you can either store the Headhunter's Sacrifice, which speeds up getting your Slayer task completed, or the Headhunter's Thrill Bracelet. So it'll pretty much be an item sync. You'll need to charge those Slayer Gloves with either of them, and then maybe on top of that, it'll give you some extra experience. I think this would be very good. Now the Slayer Boots, I don't really know if that would be good or not, just keep in mind, Slayer is perfect with trim masterwork as it does not degrade. So maybe just the gloves alone should be good. Now the thieving skill, I think that needs to be massively reworked because there's only three options, and that would be either the Equal Knights, Safe Cracking, or Prithinius Elves, which are all pretty much AFK. What if there was an NPC that gave extremely good loot, and I mean like good, good herb seeds per hour, because not even master farmers are good end game herbs for scalers, which yes, I know you could PVM, although that should not be a good way to get the seeds in my opinion. I mean master farmers, they should have some good end game seeds, and to make this a little better, Maybe how old school has that rogue outfit has a chance. Well, it always doubles loot. What if we had that perk added into the elite thieving outfit? That would be good. Or make the rogue outfit not work and be separated so that you have to choose one or the other. Just like how we do have the Flash Factory outfit versus the Herblor set for the bonus experience. You'll get a small chance to get four doses instead of three, but you will no longer get that bonus experience. And with that, that's the end of pretty much my ideas on how to re rework the four support skills, which include agility, engineering, slayer, and thieving. With that, Thank you all so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment if you have any other ideas for those four skills.